Let's walk through the pattern, because once you understand it, you'll never look at inflation the same way again. Start with Rome. By the 3rd century after Christ, emperors were facing the same problem every government faces. Too many expenses, not enough revenue. Wars on multiple borders, crumbling infrastructure, a bloated bureaucracy. Tax collection was brutal and inefficient. Raising taxes further would spark rebellion. So they found a quieter solution. Debase the currency. Take the silver denarius and mix in cheaper metals. The coin looks the same, weighs almost the same, but contains less actual silver. Mint more of them. Pay the soldiers, pay the bureaucrats, fund the wars. At first, no one notices. Then merchants start weighing the coins. Then they start refusing debased ones or demanding more of them for the same goods. Prices rise. Not because goods became scarce, but because the money became less valuable. A Roman citizen who paid their taxes in good silver, who saved good silver for retirement, suddenly finds their savings by half as much. They've been taxed again, silently, through debasement. The government extra wages, which were often fixed by law or custom, stayed the same. The result? Workers got poorer, savers got poorer, and the crown got richer. It was taxation without legislation, extraction without accountability. Fast forward to revolutionary France. The assignats we talked about earlier weren't just a currency experiment. They were a massive hidden tax. The government issued paper money to fund wars and maintain order. As they printed more, prices soared. A French citizen who earned 100 livres and paid 20 in taxes had 80 left. But when inflation drove prices up tenfold, those 80 livres bought what 8 used to buy. The government had effectively taken another 72 livres without ever passing a tax law. The citizen paid once at the tax office and again at the market. The Weimar Republic perfected the scam. By 1923, Germany was printing marks so fast that prices doubled every few days. Workers demanded raises constantly, but wages could never keep up with prices. A worker who earned 1,000 marks a week and paid 200 in taxes had 800 left. But by the time they spent it, those 800 marks bought what 400 bought the week before, then 200, then 100. Inflation was eating their paycheck faster than they could spend it. They'd paid income tax at the start of the week, 